Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our April Tuesday topics with Texas Hands and Voices. I can hardly believe that it's already April. Um, we are excited that we get to have um, the Supporting Success for Children with Hearing Loss team with us today for Tuesday topics. Before we begin, I do want to just mention that we are going to be streaming this live on Facebook, obviously. Um, some of you can uh, access the captions from Facebook. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, depending on if you're on a mobile device or you're on a personal computer or a laptop. So um, if it works, great. If not, in the chat um, or the post introduction on Facebook, you will be seeing the link to Zoom. So if you would like to access captions, we invite you to join us on Zoom so that that's accessible to you. As you can tell, we also have an ASL interpreter with us today. Her name is Jennifer Priggy, and everyone has been spotlighted, so their pictures will stay on during the entire session today. So I want to just welcome you all for uh, two Tuesday topics and introduce you to uh, part of the team with Supporting Success for Children with Hearing Loss, Dr. Karen Anderson. Hi, Dr. Hi. Anderson. Happy to be here. Thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Anderson is an audiologist, but I will give her the opportunity to introduce herself a little bit more in a minute. And then we're also joined by Brenda Wellen, who is a teacher of the deaf and hard of hearing. Hi. Thanks, Thanks Brenda. For, thanks for letting us uh, come on today. Absolutely. We're excited to have you. Um, as I, I want to mention to our audience, this post will stay pinned to the top of our Facebook page all month long. So this is the resource that's highlighted there this month. We encourage you to um, look at some of the attachments that will be included in that post, which will highlight the resources that Dr. Anderson and Brenda will be sharing today. But I want to go ahead and give them time to share with you guys the wonderful things that they have going on at their organization. So I am going to turn it over to Dr. Karen Anderson and Brenda Wellen to introduce themselves and share their resources. Also, feel free to add questions. If you have questions, add those questions to the chat. And we have Teresa Banda, our executive director, monitoring that. And she will let us know if there are questions that come through. So feel free to ask anything of Dr. Anderson and Ms. Wellen today. Thanks again. It's really a pleasure to be here and talking to families of kids with hearing loss throughout Texas. It's, a, it's an honor. And um, as Michaela said, my background, it's as an educational audiologist. And 11 years ago, I launched Supporting Success for Children with Hearing Loss. And thinking that we really needed to have kind of an umbrella site that had lots of information for parents and for professionals about different aspects of having a kid with hearing loss as a learner and growing up and socially. And then we also found products, you know, what, what can these um, educators do? What, what do they need? So we collected a bunch of products and now we're doing courses as well and our teacher tools take out. So we're excited to share that. Brenda's gonna be lead on uh, bringing us through those, those different options. Uh, we also recently uh, came into a collaboration with Terry Urban who is a parent of a kiddo who is deaf or hard of hearing. And Terry's working with us to try and share our resources and our information with families and reaching out um, information that the, the Hands and Voices chapters can then share with their constituents. So we're really excited to be able to do more and more effective outreach with families. I think one of the things to recognize is that our website has a lot of information. Success for kids with hearing loss.com. It's over 300 pages. So it's like, mm. but there is a parent section that has a few pages, but we fully believe that families, when they're ready, can delve into whatever is on the professional section and get out of it what they want, what they need, and when they need it. So it's not just geared for professionals. We respect that families can dig in and search and find what they need as well. So 
this point, I'm going to let Brenda take the lead and walk us through and, and talk about supporting success for children with hearing loss. Thanks. Brenda. Okay. I, and I hope I do the job here. Um, so I'm a, I'm a teacher of the deaf and hard of hearing. I've been working for San Angelo ISD for, uh, I think this is my 33rd year. And I've worked with um, many, many families and, um, and so when I found Supporting Success for Children with Hearing Loss website, I thought, wow, where has this been all my career? So we have lots of information and parents have asked, have asked many questions when they get to, when they have a child and you're the expert and you're the one who comes into the home and helps them understand what is happening and what kinds of information they need and where the resources are so that they can uh, compare their options. And on supporting success, so our website is successforkidswithhearingloss.com. Kind of says it all. And right. <laughs> all, uh, all one word, successforkidswithhearingloss.com. And there is a parent section. And on that parent section, we have... Um, things about what to do next after the hearing screening. So if the hearing screening is ha, has been failed, what is next? Um, hearing aids and your child's. So lots and lots of information about hearing aids, hearing devices, communication options, all kinds of different information there. Um, and then growing up infants and toddlers. So what's next and school age. So how to transition your child into uh, from early, uh, from the early, early years, birth to three years into the uh, school age setting, pre-K or school age setting. And then also social issues, because we know that um, hearing differences often cause, uh, are, the, are the cause of lots of social issues. So not being able to make friends as easily as everyone does, or not being able to communicate with your friends as easily as uh, typical hearing kids can do. And so those, it, those pages, as Karen said before, are layered and layered and layered with <laughs> lots of different information and lots of, uh, many of it is, uh, many of the um, pages are research-based. So they have um, lots of research and uh, behind them, uh, behind the topics. And we also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. If you go to our site, successforkidswithhearingloss.com, again, you can sign up for our bi-monthly newsletter and that offers uh, good information every two weeks. So it comes out on the second and fourth Tuesday of the month. And that offers information about testing about um, early childhood, about school age, about social, about advocacy. Of I think next week it's about self-concept. Three right. things you can do mm -hmm. to improve a, a child's self-concept. Right. And so with that, also we have, uh, we have two other websites that we are uh, developing. I guess one has been in development for about three years. And that is our teachertoolstakeout.com. And we have a subscription that goes with that, that you can add, uh, you can find lots and lots of information there. Um, parents can also go there too. It's not just for teachers. There is teacher information, but parents, there, there is a lot of information there for parents as well. And then we have- We have, we have like 400 free items on takeout. Mm -hmm. Right. And a lot of those are under the teacher information section, but that's just kind of what we put all our, our catch all. If you're not going to use this to work directly with the child and it's more informative, then mm -hmm. it's under teacher information. And so a family who's trying, who's seeking something that they can mm -hmm. maybe read and then give to their child's teacher or IEP mm -hmm. team, it's there. It might be free. Most of our, our things that aren't free are under $5. Mm -hmm. So it's, and we have well, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. So right. it's, it's meant to be inexpensive, easy search and grab and go kind mm -hmm. of a thing for teacher tools takeout. And then on our, our main website, our success for kids with hearing loss website, as you go through and you read the various 
um, pages, there are handouts suggested, and they're linked to, to, to Teacher Tools <laughs> Takeout, where you can download them. So right. we don't just mention things on the website and you go, gosh, where's that? I don't know. And, you know, and the link doesn't work. <laughs> Make a point of making everything very accessible because why not? What's, I mean, we need to get right. that information out. Right. And, and you can find information there too um, about parent rights, about your child's rights, about your, about the IEP meetings, what things to ask, what questions to um, talk with your IEP team about um, accommodations that might be needed for your child. Um, also transitioning into a daycare setting, talking with daycare um, carers about uh, what your child needs in daycare. Um, so there, there are, uh, there's all kinds of information there. And as well, we have um, the courses um, and Karen is, uh, has collaborated with an, another colleague that, and that course will be coming out soon, I hope, about keeping hearing aids on your child. So that will be a course that will be offered in the months to come on our success. Um, sorry, I lost it. Supporting <laughs> success uh, courses.com. The so course that's... is about keeping hearing aids on active young children. So mm -hmm. it goes strategies and why do they do this and what can we do? Um, and there's some really cool videos from families who are sharing their strategies. Yes. So that one's in the end of its um, kind of production and that will be open soon. And our yes. courses, a lot of them are geared towards professionals, but again, any, any parent, anybody can view the courses and we we want that we the the parents are the powerhouse behind determining the quality of education that their children receive and the better informed they are the better the chance that the child is going to receive the services that they they require mm -hmm. and uh, we're proud in on our our main website the success for kids with hearing loss website to have a whole legal and law section that really um, talks about ADA, um, the Americans with Disabilities Act, and how that applies to kids in the classroom. There mm -hmm. are a lot of legal supports really in mm -hmm. this country that support appropriate practices for mm -hmm. kids with hearing loss. And it's getting very challenging because, you know, schools don't always want to provide everything our kids need, and yet, you know, this, the, the law is pretty strong. So we have that information on our website as well. And um, quite a few of our updates, um, that, that topical newsletter, uh, the main articles are about that. And those are, those two are on the website. So. Mm -hmm. This um, is Michaela. Um, oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I thank <laughs> you guys so much for sharing that. Um, we do have a comment about there, someone being excited about the course um, because they receive lots of questions. I guess there's they are serving in an outreach role with other parents, mm -hmm. and uh, they're excited to see something coming down about uh, hearing aid retention tips. So, um, yes. if I can ask one more time, the web the website we're going to put it in the chat box for accessing the course. Oh, it, sure. www supporting success courses dot com mm -hmm. and we currently have over 30 over 30 courses and mm -hmm. then we're adding more all the time mm -hmm. yes and also wanted to mention that we have uh we have um partnered with i guess or um i've met lots of uh authors so recently we've got um We've moved to, or not moved to, we've added to our inventory lots of um, books with children who have hearing loss as the central character. And so many of them right now are for younger children, but we have several, uh, like Gracie's Ears is one, um, Freddie and the Fairy is one, um, Billy Baja is another, and that's um, finally a book with a character who has a bone anchored hearing device. <laughs> Uh, and we, we really want to, to do the kids books with DHH kid characters mm -hmm. as a way so that kids can see them themselves in print mm -hmm. and the family can read the book to the child 
and have it be something that they can relate to in regard to, hey, she's like me, you know, mm-hmm. and there's nothing that replaces that. And also right. to make them available to the professionals so that they can use the books as a, as a basis for trying to get at some some in, some teaching on how to deal with teasing and self advocacy and all of that. Mm-hmm. So it is a growing area for us. We have like twenty kid books now, and we're going to keep growing and growing. And that's one of the handouts, right, Michaela, that people can download is our children's book list. And again, mm-hmm. that's just now. We're going to be adding more. So um, keep mm-hmm. coming back to our main website. We have a under the right. product section, we have a whole thing on children's books and that's mm-hmm. what we'll be adding. Right. And we've got, um, so another one, Ada and the Helpers. So um, this character uh, has a cochlear, but also uses sign and then Mighty Mila also. And she has a free activity pack if you're interested in that on the web page on our site for Mighty Mila under children's books. And then another book I wanted to mention that I have loved reading and have flagged my original copy over and over again is um, 30 Million Words. We also offer this on the site. Um, I don't know if you have heard uh, this author speak, but um, she has worked with families uh, also Um, in the birth to three range. And it's all about talking to your child and uh, vocabulary and enhancing those uh, language and communication skills. And that's also offered on the site. And um, we also have read book. (laughs) It is. It's very, very easy to digest. Yeah. Struggling to think now they want me to talk. I don't know how to, I mean, I'm talking all the time. How do you Mm -hmm. do that more? This makes it a lot clearer about why, how, and what the impact, what you'll be able to see for the impact. Mm-hmm. Yes. And some other, uh, some other places you can find us are on LinkedIn. You can find us on Facebook at Supporting Success for Children with Hearing Loss, of course. And then we also have a YouTube channel where we, um, we have the authors talking about six of the authors, the new Uh, of the new books that we're offering on the YouTube channel. So they talked a a bit about their book and most of them are parents. One of them is a teacher and the, um, the other site, let's see. Oh, and we also have a Pinterest site. So we're all over the place. (laughs) (laughs) So, so you can find our, our products and our information in any of those places. (laughs) So but so mainly recap, on the website, yes. Right. So to um, recap, we mm-hmm. have this this big website with tons and tons of information that you can delve into and really go layer by layer and get the information that you need. Mm-hmm. We have teacher tools takeout where if you're thinking, I just want a handout, I want to have a piece of information or my special ed teacher, my DHH teacher says, I don't know what to use to, to teach this. Well, Mm -hmm. maybe there's something you can find, or maybe you feel like, isn't there something I can do with my kid? I know she's working really hard. She's getting services, but I can work with her 20 minutes after dinner. That might Mm -hmm. be kind of fun to do. What can I use? Mm -hmm. Teacher tools, takeout, lots and lots of choices. Mm -hmm. And then of course the courses website, lots of information. Most of the courses are between 60 minutes to 90 minutes and they're broken into modules. Most of Mm -hmm. them are. So it's like, I have 15 minutes, you know, oh, I'm, I'm waiting for her to get out of the dentist's office. I can do another 20 minutes on that. Mm -hmm. Finally, our update. It's a free email um, newsletter. Again, there's a topic um, on it all the time. Some some of it's related directly to teaching. Some of it's just kids and their needs and Mm -hmm. something about the law or whatever. It varies greatly what each of the topics are, but those Mm -hmm. are free and um, help you realize what's going on in supporting success all the time. So I hope people will check it out. Um, There was a flyer too that's listed. Uh, It's not just the children's book list. There's also the flyer that kind of goes over all the things we offer, uh, encapsulates what Brenda has shared with us. Mm -hmm. And um, hopefully that'll be a good take along and use as a reminder to come back and see us. And I just wanted to say the last thing I know we're 
um, at our mark, but I think the last thing is uh, the 2023 virtual conference. Just wanted to mention that, that we have 14 different sessions happening in 2023, and it will be showing from January 15th to April 15th in 2023, but registration starts for that conference in May. And uh, we have an early, early bird registration happening in May for, uh, for those who are very eager to get in on the action. So we've, uh, we've got lots of speakers from Texas, which we're excited about. We have, um, we have Millicent um, Mayuska, I believe is her last name. Uh, she is from Lamar University, I think. And we've got uh, Dr. Almond, who is one of my uh, one of my professors from my master's program at uh, TWU, and we've got several others. Carrie Norman, um, you may know her from the DFW area, and um, I'm not sure who else. But we have lots of folks from Texas coming in. We also have others too. But and Karen will be doing a session and I'll be doing a session too. So right. hope you'll check that out. <laughs> and we really want everything we do for the courses to be very practical. Sometimes you attend one of these courses and you go, it's an academic talking about research, all that's well and good, but does that help me with my kid? What, what did she just say? So mm -hmm. we really wanna focus on things that are, are practical so mm -hmm. that whoever watches it can go, all right, I can take this and I know what to do now that's going to be different than what I did before. And yeah. the virtual conference, even though we have 14 sessions, you can choose to, to view three, six or nine or all 14. So you can really tailor it. So as a family, I mean, you can just say, all right, hey, these three look really good. And mm -hmm. by golly, I have three whole months to view them. And we want people to feel like they have time. So, yeah. This is wow. Michaela. I love that, you guys. I think that the, the <laughs> thing I've taken away, the recurring theme throughout our conversation today has been that you can access things on your own time. You can access these resources that really encompass the whole child, which I think is beautiful. You guys have so many resources that target early childhood, early intervention, um, moving up through the different transition phases of the child's life. And I love how you've mentioned several times when a parent is ready, they can click over to that tab that you guys have created for professionals, utilize those resources there. So I love how everything is just created to be accessed on their own time mm -hmm. in pieces and as they need it. And uh, I think that you know, as parents are raising deaf and hard of hearing children, sometimes the process is a little bit overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So just knowing that you guys have kind of created it where it can be accessed at different points and as needed is, is really um, a great resource and something mm -hmm. that we really are encouraging our families and our professional partners to check out. Mm -hmm. um, we also have included the site for the conference. There was a question about where they can receive and find information for um, the conference. So it has been linked there as well. And I particularly love that, uh, Dr. Anderson, you pointed out that that conference can be also accessed in doses mm -hmm. or accessed by what's relevant to your needs and your family's mm -hmm. needs or your professional needs. Mm -hmm. So being able to access that either three, six, nine or all. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm really thankful for everything that you guys have shared today. Um, I would like to just open it up really quickly to see if we have any questions that have come through live on Facebook. Our executive director, Teresa Banda, has been monitoring that. So I'd like to see if there have been any questions that have come on. Hey, Michaela, this is Teresa. Um, at this moment, it doesn't look like we have any questions. Um, most of them were actually answered when we started sharing the links to the conference and the other resources that are available. So thank you. Okay. This Great. is Michaela, Dr. Anderson and uh, Brenda, would it be okay if we included your email contact information at Absolutely. Success for Kids with yes. Hearing Loss? That way, if Absolutely. anyone has any questions, they'll be able to contact you directly. Absolutely. Please do. Mm -hmm. Please do. That'd be great. 
Mm -hmm. again, we're happy to have Terry Urban in collaboration with us, who will be preparing information specifically for the Hands and Voices chapters to share down the line with their family members, um, because we really do want to reach out to families so that we can all support the success of kids with hearing loss. Absolutely. Um, to our audience at that to that point that Dr. Anderson just pointed out um, last week, you guys might have seen on our social media sites the first of that series that um, has been created by Terry Urban Parent Outreach at Success for Kids with Hearing Loss. And that was um, identity through books, self-identity through books. Um, there will be some more that are coming out in the weeks to follow. I think it's every two weeks for 10 weeks. Is that right? Perfect. Okay. I do think we have a question. So Teresa, yes. Yes, yes this is Teresa. Um, we have a question on Facebook from Rebecca. Do you provide resources for specific areas in Texas or, for example, East Texas? We provide information and uh, information resources. We don't provide direct services and we don't have like a directory of services. Uh, we are providing mainly information to states throughout the US, Canada, and Australia. So our scope is bigger than Texas, but hopefully everything we have will be helpful to anyone in Texas. This is Michaela. Thank you for clearing that up, Dr. Anderson. Um, we do want to let you guys know if you do need specific help um, in a region, reach out to us at Texas Hands and Voices, and we can be sure to provide you with um, some contacts in that East Texas area to get you connected to what you need there. Um, I'd like to thank Dr. Anderson and Brenda Wellen for joining us today. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to um, meet with our community today and share all of these incredible resources. And we're excited for our parents and professional partners to be able to access those. As we mentioned, um, your resource will be pinned to the top of our Facebook page all month. We encourage our community to look um, back at this and ask any questions there on that post. We also want to remind you that this uh, session today will be stored on our Texas Hands and Voices YouTube page, so you can go back and watch that at a later time as well. Thank you guys so much for joining us today, and Thank we look forward us. to seeing you around and sharing your research <laughs> okay. with all of our families. <laughs> Sounds yes. great. Thanks Thank you so for having much, us. One and all. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>